Get today is a uh, pneumatic thermostat. <coughs> uh, the service today is for uh, no air on an office. This office is working with thermostat, uh, pneumatic thermostats. This one, I just finished my calibration. In this uh, pneumatic uh, thermostat, uh, what you're looking for, first thing is, before you do anything, is you have to calibrate it. And in order to do that, you have to match the room temperature with the temperature that you want. And it has to be on APSI. If it's not, you just need a thermostat, screwdriver, and in this Honeywell type, this is the, uh, the adjustment. So if you go clockwise, you increase the pressure. And if you go counter counterclockwise, you decrease it. So basically, if you have the temperature that you want uh, matching the uh, room temperature, you have to set it out to eight or seven and a half, roughly, you know. Doing that, you get to go. And then you place it for calling for cooling. In this case, this is a direct acting thermostat. Most of the time it shows over here. If it is direct acting, it says T as in David, A as in Apple. If it is reversing acting, R, A. In this case, it's direct acting. So. This is my VAV. This is the actuator. In this case, because it's direct acting, the actuator has to receive pressure to open. Right now it's closed. And I got my gauge over here and I got no pressure. So everything is pointing at my controller. So next thing you do is just you need to make sure that you have pressure coming from the thermostat over here in this type of controller the pneumatic hose for the thermostat is located over here and if you look over here it says T for thermostat so we have to have signal over here This is my pressure from my thermostat line. This is the thermostat line. That's the one that it was connected to the T terminal. So we got pressure coming from the thermostat. So the problem is on this controller. So let's put everything back together. Second thing is this dial is to get uh, the actuator, uh, you know, this uh, get this controller on a normally closed and normally open position. Since my actuator need pressure to open, it's normally closed, so we get. And this hose that it says B as in bridge is the branch. This one send signal to my actuator so right now we got no pressure so let's see so from the actuator I hope you can see it ok here better from the actuator we got a hose coming over here, all the way here, all the way here, and we're gonna simulate uh, pressure injection and make sure that the uh, 
that the actuator works. So we're gonna put five pounds. And as you can see, this opening. So the actuator is good. So definitely it's a problem on the controller. The controller is not sending the pressure back to the, uh, the actuator. Yeah, she closed back. All right. All right, my VAV is uh, TU407. This is the information regarding to this VAV. So, the controller can come with this little chart and for my VAV the size is uh, the inlet is 10 if I remember right yeah inlet is 10 so inlet is 10 size of the box is 12 right here so we should have 350 CFM for that for that BAV maximum so right now I've got my Magna Helic connected to it high pressure low pressure high pressure low pressure and this is completely flat so we have to adjust the uh, maximum airflow for some reason it's all the way down I just calibrated a couple months ago actually in October so we're gonna recalibrate it again. Alright. I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, it's gonna be hard. Right. And this controller there is two dials. This one is the high, this one is the low. So we need to adjust the high. So we got more airflow in the system. For this box we're looking for 0 0.1 water column. So right now we are in zero. So we're gonna start adjusting it and see what happens. This is the one that we need to manipulate. Alright, so here we go. So far, 0 0.1 water column pressure. And it's climbing back. I mean, going up a little. Not a big deal. Alright. We got some pressure on the actuator right now. We got 8 pounds. about one zero point one that's what we're looking for <sighs> all right <sighs> yeah 
but she's fine. All right, I'm gonna try to shoot another video another time. I cannot talk too much over here. There is an office area. But I'm gonna try to shoot another video explaining this process a little better. And this, by the way, these controllers, these ones. These are the uh, KMC controllers that I came with this book and it tells you the procedure to set it up correctly for reverse and direct acting. Also give you a schematic for the host connections. Pretty much self-explanatory. Just save this in your truck. Save it. Alright guys, thank you for watching.